Hello! Welcome back to Let's Play The Tales of Monkey Island. And I won't keep you here. Let's just meet this old friends. Woe upon thee, foolish mortal! You have unleashed certain doom upon all your feeble fleshy kind! For the wrath of Murray shall be... <laughs> Very funny. Hi, Murray! Threepwood! I suppose I should have expected this. Long time no see. How'd you get trapped in here? I'm not trapped! Okay, what were you doing before you chose to hang out in a treasure chest inside of a manatee? Well, my legions of undead marines had brought an armada of Spanish clippers to their knees when a mighty tempest tossed our ship. I don't remember hearing about any battle with the Spanish armada. Ha! Huh, as if we would allow a soul to live to tell the tale. Would you like some help? Help? Ha! Help? I will end you! Okay then. Well, it was nice talking to you, Murray. Um, maybe a little. Come again? Perhaps a lift. Oh, you'd like help. Let's go, pal. Ah, it's dark in here. And why does it smell like rotten marmalade? <laughs> wow, he's a welcome sight. Having a good time? You and I should team up to take over the manatee, sail it to Booty Island, and sack the harbor in a storm of blubber. I'll take it under advisement. See ya. Right, let's talk to these fine gentlemen. Ahoy there! I'm sorry, I don't think I got your name. It's Bug Eye. Well, I've been doing some thinking, and I'd like to join the Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. Is that so? Yep, although I'm applying to the Oligarchical Society of the Alpaca Farm as a safety. This wouldn't have anything to do with a missing cochlea, would it? No way! I just like the cut of your jib. Well... Admittance is as simple as a unanimous vote, even for a pirate such as yourself. We're a democracy, after all. Noogie, Moose, Santino, and myself founded our collective after growing tired of slaving away on the crews of tyrannical adventurers, always after some meaningless trinket. Like, say, a giant sponge? Precisely! We're never going back to our old lives. The Brotherhood was formed to make sure this adventure is a never-ending one. Down with the man, and all of that. Would you like me to call a vote? Um, why not? Yes, I'm a shoe in Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Brother Noogie, concerning the initiation of one Guybrush Threepwood, what say you? Uh... No. Uh, no, I don't think so. What's he got to offer? Brother Moose, what say you? Oh, I gotta vote with my boy Santino on this one. An obvious no. What? This is ridiculous! Yeah, nah, bro. And of course, my vote, which is no. Shocker. Not a single yay. This is worse than when I ran for class president. Okay, I guess we have to do things for people, including a skeleton. Ahoy there! Now what? Give me the skinny about the missing cochlea. I can keep a secret. I'll never break. Except in the face of porcelain. Or tickle torture. Perhaps you didn't hear before when you were told that it was a secret of the Brotherhood. Well, I did, but I figured you told everybody that. Come on, I'm Guyber Sweepwood. I don't care if you're the Queen of Swaziland or the Ghost Pirate LeChuck. I've killed him a few times. Sure you have, Cream Puff. What do you say about giving a nod to old Guyber Sweepwood come voting time? Sure. Come on, what? Wait, really? You can have my vote as soon as you beat me in a pirate face-off. We don't want any weenies in the Brotherhood. Is this gonna hurt? Just your pride, Johnny Cakes. I give you my best pirate face, and then all you have to do is top it. Originality counts. I'm a pirate with a face. This should be a cinch. Ready? I'll go first. All right. 
We're ready for some pirate face-off action. It's Bug-Eye, the Viceroy of Visages, versus... Uh, uh, Guybrush Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Let him have it, Bug-Eye. Here comes the... Arrgh. Stinky, lazy-eyed, meanie. All right, my turn. Do your worst, Guybrush. Show this egalitarian bozo who's boss. Now check this out. As you can see here, we only have three moves. We have to find the rest. It's kind of like the old insult sword fighting, but a little bit more interesting. But we've only got three options now. He's got the arr, stinky, lazy-eyed, meanie. Ha! That's it. Yep. Did you miss me saying originality counts? Or are you such a pathetic pirate that you had to copy my face to a T? Really, Guybrush? Come on, I added my own flavor. He might as well have been looking in a mirror. This is humiliating. Mighty pirate indeed. <laughs> Ouch. Bummer, dude. It just slipped out of her hand. Watch, she'll realize her mistake and hurry back for it. Wait for it. Wait. So, pirate faces. Better go cop a few new mugs if you want to upgrade from miserable embarrassment to just simple failure. Right. That's not good. I think we had one extra line of dialogue from Bugai. Ahoy there! Now what? You're a real killjoy. I don't take kindly to ruffians messing with the dynamics of the Brotherhood. Aren't you a bit like the tyrants you claim to hate? I don't appreciate your inference, sweet roll. We do everything democratically down here. Noogie, Moose, and Santino carry equal weight in every decision. How about your decision to be a jerk? No, that one's all me. Later, Buggy Bilgewater. So long, Threep Wuss. Let's set Mori on him. Check this out. Hey there, sailor. Why the sourpuss? Cute. Damn it, Murray. An original signed Guybrush Threepwood. Morgan's gonna want this back. Hmm. Ahoy there. Oh, hi. You're in charge of the tunes, huh? I just like to play. It relaxes me. I can relate. I went through a mouth harp phase. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. I'm Noogie. What's your pretty girlfriend's name? Oh, she's not really my girlfriend. Her name's Morgan LaFlay. Why, you think she's hot stuff? Well, yeah. She'd chew you up like a pinky finger in a piranha pool. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I've been thinking I'd like to join your group. Oh, well, Bug Eye generally handles administrative matters. You should talk to him. You enjoy it down here? Oh, yes. I would have never been able to abandon Coronado to Kava. But once we split, I realized what I'd been missing. I'll never work for another tyrant again. Democracy makes life worth living. It gives me a voice. The humidity doesn't get to you? You adjust to it. Arr! Yar! Ooh, that's a good one. I'll add that to my pirate face repertoire. Noogie, my man. So yes, yeah, so you get a few new faces by speaking to the pirates, but there's others you have to collect elsewhere. We'll see them all eventually. You seem like a stand-up sort of guy. Tell me about the missing cochlea. Never. I made a promise of brotherhood with these men, and I'll never break it. It's a secret for brothers only. I could really use your vote into the brotherhood. 
Oh, I don't know about that. We got a pretty stable force in here, and I don't think Bug Eye likes you much anyway. Well, let me do you a favor. Like? I'll get you a date with the beautiful, dangerous Morgan LaFlay. Really? You think she'd say yes? To a stud such as yourself? Of course. Wow. Okay. If the date goes well, you have my vote. Deal. In the meantime, here is a new member's manual. It might be worth looking over if you're serious. It's full of our initiation rituals, neophyte duties, etc. Hazing rituals? By law, we're no longer allowed to use the word hazing. We call them enhanced initiation techniques. Sounds delightful. One day, coming up. Noogie, my man. I like the beat. How about something a little more up-tempo? Like this? I dig it. That's something interesting to note. It's quite, quite annoying that every time I use a line of dialogue, it ends the conversation completely. Check this out. Salutations, Four Eyes! Hey, that's not nice. Yeah, I can't control him. Sure you can't. Nice trick, though. Before we speak to Morgan, let's meet this gentleman here. Hi there, Guybrush Street Boy. Hola, I'm Moose, and that's my boy Santino. He has a name? Uh, yeah. It's more of a moniker, like THE Santino. He's the coolest cat I've ever known. Ah, right on, dude. Can I interest you in a beverage? That's quite the straw. Sometimes you just want a quick rush of i -Corp. This baby does the trick. I really shouldn't. All right, man. But that means you gotta double up next time. Fair enough. Is there a substantial amount of lead in your drink? Nah, man. This is pure, unfiltered i -Corp. I got hooked on this stuff when we landed down here. You're drinking it. You better believe it. And it flows in abundance, my friend. Tell me about i -Corp. What sort of varietals does it come in? Any favorite vintages? Three years ago was a solid year. Potent stuff. This here's the orange. I dig it. It's got a bubbly effervescence with a tangy palate. Watch out for the yellow stuff you see in the pools, though, man. The stuff will peel the shell off a Nautilus. What's with the funnel? That's Jumbo Jimbo, my custom drinking apparatus. I break it out for special occasions. Like lunchtime? It's important to celebrate life, brah. What can you tell me about the missing cochlea? Nothing. That's a secret for brothers only. Think I could count on your vote? Man, that's a tough one. I try not to get too wrapped up in the politics of the group. That's the beauty of democracy, man. Let other people make the big decisions, and you can just ride the wave. I just vote for whoever Santino goes in for. Arr! Arr! Nice technique. <laughs> Check this out. Beware my clicking mandibles of doom. <laughs> Raucous. When I was a kid, I had a crippling fear of ventriloquism. Yeah. Well, it's not a clip-on. I wonder if we, if, if we can go R with Santino. Come here often? Arr! Scared you stiff, huh? What's with the no votes? I wasn't the one who killed you. Was I? Get you later. Don't work too hard. And part of this is we need to make the skeleton talk. So let's get Moose. Hi. What's up? 
Well, actually. See ya. Later on. Four. I'll use Mori. Let's have one last bit What's of fun. What's going on out there? Let's have one last bit of fun with him. Morgan, I found an old head. A skull. Wow. Hello, what's your name, sweet cakes? <laughs> Stop it. I'm not doing anything. I might look like just a skull, but I'm all man. Not kidding. Neither am I. What do you say we ditch the zero here, and you and I find a quiet spot near the spleen, and... That's enough. <laughs> Hi. Sup? I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Right, so we need to get that skull loose. Diwali! Woohoo! And one more Hi. celebration. Sup? I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Pirate History Month. Woohoo! Wood, you have made the greatest mistake of your life. In my new corporeal form, I will scorch these lands to the ground, only to rebuild them in my nefarious almighty image. So, you like your new setup? I do. Santino, bro, you want to spot me on this one? Men pledge their allegiance to me. Our brotherhood is a bond forged in the flames of hell. Nori. Perhaps I will revel in this union of brothers for a moment before burning the world. Terror will come to this manatee, rest assured. Hey there, Mer Santino. Aloha. How's the body treating you? Remarkably well. It's only a matter of time before I gain control of my limbs. <laughs> oh boy, then we're in for it. I shall rewrite your definition of misery. You're literate now too? Not completely think I can get your vote into the Brotherhood we are very selective of our members I just scammed your way in 15 seconds ago how about a nod for the effort okay okay sure thing Creepwood Arr! <laughs> your contorted cast couldn't scare a schoolgirl in my day I could turn a man to stone with a smirk I can make blood boil with a scowl and all I need is a reason and lips. You actually like these guys? Like? I like no one, but I love the Brotherhood. What I have here is a group of men I can mold in my own image. Their fates are tied to mine, and my fate leads to the highest throne of hell. So Brotherhood actually suits you. Plus, Bug Eye is working on a creed. I love creeds. Talk to you later, Murray. Take care, windbag. Okay, that's step one. We still need to convince Murray to let us in. It reads, The Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior, a guide for the newly initiated. The first chapter is Initiation and You. Hmm. The cover is loose. Let's set this date up. Hey, Mo. What is it? Arr! Arr! Ooh, that's a new one. Hey, Mo. What is it? It's not really the best time for this, but uh, how about that guy over there? Pretty cute, huh? Four eyes? Kinda portly if you ask me. Come on. You should go on a little manatee date with him. No way. I feigned enough romance for one day. Well, what about... Go give him a quick back massage. No way. Take him for a walk around the bile pool. Never! Did I say date? 
No, I meant reconnaissance mission. He's dangerous. My guess? Assassin. Really? Yeah, really. Here's the play. Shoot! It's a three-phase operation. First, you should... Right. So we need to make this act like it's a date to him. So, if we slyly interrogate him, it means she gets to, gets, to know, gets to know more about him. Interrogate him. Ask him about himself. Let's figure out where this low life is from. Okay. Second, you must... A little bit of affection. Take his hand. Test his grip, in case it comes to fisticuffs. Okay. Lastly... Who doesn't enjoy a little pat-down? Check for weapons. Give him a pat-down. When things turn to duck soup, we need to know what we're facing. Okay. Okay, so... Interrogate. Test his grip. And then... Check for weapons. You got it. Good luck. I've got your six. Thanks. Hey, Noogie. How was the date? At first I was really nervous. Yeah? But it turned out great. She was so into me. First, she wanted to know all about me. She was interested right off the bat. Nice. Then she made the first move and took my hand. I knew I was doing well. Second base. Mr. Big Stuff over here. And then before I knew it, she's got her hands all over me. It was awesome. The perfect date. Glad to hear it went well. So I've got your vote. Certainly. Oh man, I'm putting all of this in my journal. I even found a strand of a hair on my vest. That's going in too, as a keepsake. Getting creepy. <laughs> uh, sorry. Ew, a slimy grub. Right, one last chat with Morgan, and we're going to do some exploring. Hmm. Hey, Mo. What is it? Okay, I'll be back later. Take your time. Okay, no words about the date. The plaque reads, Fish Eyes Alabaster, Anarcho-Socialist Pirate Philosopher. One day I hope my portrait has such a fancy plaque, soiled and forgotten in the bowels of a manatee. It's a ship named the Howler Monkey. A monkey face! I like it! Okay, we have uh, shortcuts here. Moist, but expedient. And one last one for luck. Well, that's not going to work. I don't think we really have anything here we can use. Okay, let's get back up to the carver. I'll maybe see how Winslow's getting on. Ah, 
deck hand. Could you do me a favor? Shoot. Sure. I'm parched. I would love a drink, but none of that yellow muck. Dangerous stuff that is. Makes my eyes go wilder than a frothing Pomeranian. Okay. One drink coming up. And he has a monocle as well. A steamer trunk. I mean, it's probably full of junk. Or secrets. Decava's homebrewed cochlea. It should be ready in a decade or so. A bucket full of grubs. I really hope food isn't that scarce in here. Let's steal it. Where has my monocular run off to, slippery devil? Just like the good old days. Right, he doesn't doesn't not want any yellow icor. So we can only get hold of, hold of yellow icor. Hmm, these lenses are about the same size. Dakava's monocular now has a red lens. He'll see the manatee through rose tinted glasses. Or uncover loads of secret messages. Surely he'll notice though. Your monocular, boss. Thank heavens! I was going mad without them! No harm done to them? Uh, the lens was cracked when I found it, so I replaced it. How resourceful of you, crewman! Taking after old Coronado, I see. Alright, that explains it. Did he give us a... Yes, he did. Right, I don't think Winslow has anything new to say. Let's get back down there. Hey you, Rabble Rouser. Yes? Are you enjoying your time with the democratically united brotherhood of the Manatee Interior? How can I not? Can't wait to be voted in. We'll see about that. In the meantime, I don't want any trouble. We got it nice and easy down here. Okie dokie. Just some friendly advice. Don't be poking round up top and stay away from Dakava. The last thing this manatee needs is his sense of direction restored. We don't need to be getting to any sacred mating grounds. Seriously. I've never seen manatees mate before, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to be inside one when I do. I'm glad we're on the same page. Okay, we're almost at the end of, of time. Let's do one last thing. Did I give the calf his grub? No, I didn't. I'll do that in the next episode. Doogie, my man! I like the beat. How about something a little more up-tempo? Like this? I dig it. Where's the bile? Damn it. Okay, I guess it goes down when you go too far. The level's too low to take a sample. Right. I'll leave it here. There's still uh, quite a lot we need to do still. But I will see you again for the next video. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.